Hello and welcome to Tech Dive Gaming. I am Steven and this is City Skylines Industries Expansion. Now this is the most recent expansion to the game and it is one of the few actual expansions instead of DLC. So far from what I can tell, this expansion is easily the most ambitious one they have done yet. Not just because of the amount of content that it contains, but that it actually kind of changes how you play the game overall. See the main focus of this expansion is the, of course the industries, but that is uh, they take this one little aspect of the game that previously was kind of whatever, you know, it was functional before, but now it is truly its own like entire wing of the game, and it is very interesting and very fun to play with. So this expansion has added in forestry, agriculture, ore, and oil, where previously before these are all just kind of like zones, there's now dedicated districts, much like the parks used to work or do work in the parks expansion, this one does that for industries, and each industry has its own dedicated buildings that you can build yourself in order to increase production. And right here I'm building a medium tree plantation, and I just put this right here inside of my forestry industry district. Is that the right? Forestry industry? Anyways, and you can see it is making beech wood, also known as raw forest products is really the main uh, name for it. All right. Click the industry info right here, you can see uh, I am currently making 91 tons of raw forest products every week and this can get split into paper via paper mills or plain timber via saw mills or I can sell it directly to this output. You can see the revenues from each of the streams and my overall profit is $3,300 just from this little bit of wood industry. It's almost level 5. Uh, the areas have uh, more efficiency the more they level up and you level up by having more produced resources and more workers in the area. So here you can see the agricultural area of my city. This has the crops which is the most base level of the resource and it also has these pastures which is the conversion of crops into animal products. Basically you're feeding the cows corn so you can eat the cows right? And then from here you can build out all kinds of stuff. All right, so what do you do with stuff like animal products? Well, you can actually make large mega factories that can manufacture all these refined products into, into even more refined products, such as the clothing factory or the soft paper factory. Let's see, I'm gonna build this clothing factory right here. This factory requires animal products, crops, and plastic. Now, I have both animal products and crops, but I do not have plastic. That means I'm going to have to import said plastic into the city in order to make these products. Though it should be worth it because it's going to uh, make so much money that it'll pay for the importation of the oil. Now, something to do with this is that you would go to the warehouses right here, build probably a, a medium sized warehouse nearby, and this is where you're going to import your plastics to in order to bring them into this factory at a steady pace. Because right now it's gonna fill up with animal products and crops real quick, but then it's gonna wait on plastics. So, with this one farming area, I am producing 243 tons of crops, which then gets turned into a whole bunch of flower animal products and sold as raw crops, and making me a profit of 13000 a week. And that is a lot of money, considering I only have 13,000 sims in my little city. So overall, the amount of money you make with this is just incredible. Now what do you do with this money? I'm not sure. I really had no difficulty making money in the base game and this is just heaping that on top. But it's just a really fun, interesting uh, thing to add to the game. Because instead of the typical little four tile, uh, you know, lots for industry or, or crops, you have these huge fields. Heck, those are small fields. These are medium fields. And over here is a large animal pasture. So those are realistic sizes, or more realistic at least, sizes for the uh, you know harvesting the crops. Same thing with the timber, same thing with the ore and the oil. It's a lot more realistic in that you are taking up a large amount of area to grow food or whatever, but it does actually make a lot more profit than the base game's resource uh, kind of management stuff. Overall, I find this whole resource management thing very reminiscent of the uh, SimCity 2015 kind of gameplay where you have to build out your uh, resource production, but also it feels a lot like Tropico, uh, especially the recent Tropico is like 3, 4, 5 in terms of you building out farms and then refining it into, uh, you know, different uh, products that your people like to eat. 
So with all your products, you have to store them. The idea of storing all these materials makes a lot of sense, from small storage slots to massive, massive warehouses, very similar to something like Amazon has. Look at this one right here. This is pretty much an Amazon warehouse. It's just, it's actually storing industry goods, which can be exported to the nearby high uh, density area. Among other things added to the game is a new postage system. This system pretty much just, just distributes mail to the people in your city. Uh, you build these little facilities here and they kind of deliver it out. It's like a reverse landfill or a reverse uh, like graveyard in that way. So really post postage stuff is just another service to yet increase the amount of upgrades your buildings get. Another thing they added, which is a little bit smaller, is that they added industry roads. And it's these kinds of ugly wide streets right here as opposed to the regular streets. The benefit to these is that they're far cheaper than regular streets. And the negative to them is that they're way, way louder. So in industry areas, this is perfect to use because it's, it just saves you even more money. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to read the written review, I have it over on mainmenugames.com. Please check that out. A good friend runs that website. It's a really great website. Lots and lots of reviews there. Uh, see you next time.